guys, what's going on? Tim Pass here and in today's video I'll be teaching you guys how to make your very own clean gaming logo in Photoshop in just a few easy simple steps. Now I've already made a video like this but I did it um, in a, in a collaborate, uh, collab video with Stephen Van and it's on his channel but I've been creating a new improved version on my channel today so I hope you do enjoy the video guys. Make sure you smash the like button. Can we hit 50 likes on this video today? Make sure you comment down below what you want to see like what tutorial you want to see for me in my next video and I hope you do enjoy guys and let's get into it. So guys we're here in Photoshop and we're going to be creating the clean gaming logo in just a few easy simple steps so let's get into it. Um, first of all you want to go over to file and create a new document 1280 by 720 so uh, once you've done that we're just going to create um, a new background so I'm just going to delete that. Uh, I'm going to make it black just so we can see what we're doing in the background. Um, so yeah, something like that and then alt backspace just to fill it in. Um, so once you've done that basically you can choose whatever logo you want to work with. Um, this is a different like method that you guys can use to actually make your own logo. Like many people think it's great to like draw it out and then bring it into like Photoshop or Illustrator and go over that logo because it's a lot easier. But if you like don't have the facilities to do that then this is another good option. Um, a good way to make your own logo. So what you want to do is go over to the text tool and just go and uh, type in a letter that you want to work with. So today um, I'm going to work with the letter C and you want to make it white um, and basically you can actually you can actually choose um, a font that you like the look of and it kind of gives you an advantage um, depending on what font it is um, like say for this font maybe it looks better so you want to use that one instead um, but I'm going to stick with the one I already had which was Couture in fact no I'm not going to work with that one we'll find a different font that maybe looks a bit better could use this could work with something like that and basically what you want to do you want to make it as big as possible just so it's easier to work with and then once you've done that, go over and rasterize it so you can like edit it and everything like that. And basically you just want to look at it and see what you can actually change to it. What do you th think will look better um, and stuff like that. So here you've got the curve and um, that is a really cool like feature to it. Like not many C's have like curved and then end up like that. So what you can actually do is just if you don't like it or if you do like it, like for me, I quite like the look of that. So I think I'm going to keep that the same. But these two um, points at the end, you might want to change the distance. Like you might want one bigger and one smaller or one longer. Uh, it's up to you. So maybe um, I could like get rid of, of a bit of this. So just by using the rectangle tool at the top. Um, you could just delete that and that looks pretty good and you might even want to do this go over to the pen tool by clicking here or just press P on your keyboard and then go click in the corner so basically guys it's just manipulating text um, it's a really easy thing to do if you've got a good mind and you can basically visualize what you want to change to the logo to make it your own and basically you can just delete it like that and it gives it a nice little uh, sleek effect going on right there and then over here, you might want to bring that shorter as well, something like this. And maybe delete that off. Or maybe a bit less. And that does look pretty cool again. And uh, maybe we can add a little slant like we just did just then. And maybe we could do this. So click in the corner. And then, so maybe zoom in a bit more. Click right in the corner and then just make a little diagonal line and then delete that away. Basically it's just a really cool effect, it's looking nice um, and basically what you've got to do is just look at the logo, I mean look at the text and see what you uh, think will look better. 
So say if you had like a G, um, just make it bigger. One sec. Um, so say if you want in a G, just make that bit smaller. Um, you can just look at that right there, and you might think to yourself, maybe you don't want um, you don't want it to go up like that and then cut off like a little rectangle point. Maybe you might want it to um, cut off like this. And, and by like just manipulating, you're able to make it your own, and it's just a really cool like. Um, option like tool just to do and I really like the look of this C uh, it's coming along really well maybe over here at the bottom you might not want it to be cut off like that you might want it to be like a round corner now in Photoshop you won't be able to make it like a round corner as easily as in Illustrator because in Illustrator it's got a built-in tool where you can automatically just like make it smaller but here in Photoshop you can actually do this which is really cool so um, just click in the corner and then bring out a circle something like that then just rasterize it maybe make it white so just make it the same color as the background I mean the same color as the um, text so we'll just double click on the layer color overlay and we'll just change it to white and then once you've done that um, just bring down the opacity of the C and then so you can actually see the corner now then go over to the pen tool and you can actually just delete that part off make sure you're highlighted on the back of the uh, circle and then press delete and then if you just bring up the opacity now you've actually got a curved corner and it looks really cool it, it might not look the best but um, I'm just doing it pretty fast right now and basically that's how you get your own um, professional gaming logo maybe not professional it's pretty simple um, but for people who can um, draw it out and actually get it on, it's a really good option to do. So as another thing you can do, if you um, do not like the look of that, uh, just duplicate it, bring it across, and then double click on the layer. Um, in fact, no, go to the fill, bring it down all the way, then double click on the layer, go to stroke and then change it to white and you're able to create like an outline and this may look a lot better it uh, depends what you guys think uh, I do think it looks alright to be honest with you so basically that's it for the tutorial today how to make your very own gaming logo just a few easy simple steps so just remember guys you just look at the logo what do you think you uh, could change to that logo to make it look more professional um, and just make it your own so uh, just manipulating the text so I hope you did enjoy guys let's smash 50 likes on this video um, I'll have another video uh, tutorial up tomorrow I might be doing a double upload I'm not 100% sure so uh, comment down below what you want to see from me uh, in the coming days and I'll see you guys no, in the next no, video no.